Hey fellow Twigs and Branches, it's Tom from Strength Ministry, back with another episode of Tom's Technical Tuesdays. I just want to apologise that we did not upload last Tuesday, we've been extremely busy with work, you know, and just life being what life is. Anyway, we're back this Tuesday, and we're back with uh, an EMG studies on the biceps bronchi. And this was done in the year 2000 by a, a, a guy named Barines and obviously fellow colleagues. Before we get onto the study, I just want to talk about what does the bicep bronchi do, you know, what, what actually activates the bicep bronchi and which is the movements of it. First and foremost, the biceps, one actually, first action is elbow flexion. So from here, elbow flexion. The second is forearm, forearm supination. So from here, we supinate the wrist and we can see the bicep activating like this as well. The third being shoulder flexion. So from here, we raise the shoulder, activates the biceps. They are the three movements that activate the biceps bronchi. Okay, now going on to the study. This, the study pinpointed a, a few exercises as most optimal for the biceps bronchi and its, and its uh, stimulation or activation levels. The number one movement that they found was the dumbbell concentration curl seated with a very controlled eccentric or negative face. So this means we're up here in a positive face and on the way down that's also known as eccentric or negative. So they found doing this movement with a controlled negative activated the biceps bronchi more than any other movement. Second being once again, the dumbbell concentration curl, but with a controlled positive. Now you say you might say to yourself, "What's the difference? It's the same movement." Well, okay, yes, it is the same movement, but what they showed is what's the difference between the positive being controlled and the negative being controlled. Which you know there ain't there ain't too much difference, but everyone should know that from the eccentric causes more muscle damage fiber than the positive. It's just, you know, if you didn't know that, you do know that now, coming from me. The the second on the, on the list, or should we say the third on their list, is Scott curls. Now, if you don't know what a Scott curl is, it's basically a preacher curl or done on, on, uh, on a pad. Just type it in Google, it'll come up straight away for you. This was number three on the list. Number four on the list was straight bar cable curls. So, so you know, having a straight bar, attach it to a cable, just like this. And number four on the list. The others, if you want to go and check them out, I will, I will not talk about them here. But if you want to check them out, the link will be in the description for the study. You can uh, go and check this out. Okay, now moving on, okay, to angles. And this will surprise many people by this. The, the hammer curl, which is keeping the wrist neutral, just like this. So to just doing like just the movement like this. So a neutral curl, also known as a hammer curl, that many people know this by, actually activated the biceps bronchi, meaning just the biceps here, a few more points than a dumbbell concentration curl and neutral. Now many people have previously felt thought that a supinated grip will hit the biceps bronchi more than a neutral grip. And I thought, me myself, I thought this in the past, but this study has completely you know, falsified these claims. And to say, basically, the hammer curl is as good as, if not better, than a supinated concentration curl with a dumbbell. So I know some of you are gonna be surprised at there, so was I, but you know, as I, I do, I've always done it in my movements anyway, to be honest with you. And I think that's the reason for decent bicep development. Okay, now moving on to grip widths. Okay, now there's a few things that we can talk about here. Now when I mean grip widths, we're talking about close or wide. Now many people that have a bit of muscle mass on them don't have the flexibility, like even myself, to have a super wide grip because then it causes all, all kinds of wrist problems that I've had in the past as well. But what they said is that a wide grip straight bar curl will activate the long head of the bicep more 
than the short end and vice versa. A closed grip straight bar curl will activate the short end of the bicep. Now, you might say, you might argue, you know, all right, just do a neutral curl to hit both heads. Okay, yes, but if we're talking about specific training to try and bring up the biceps long head, or, or the biceps short head, then they're saying, you know, either, either grip for either head is more beneficial for that. Um, and then the conclusion was, okay, after all this study, they picked up three main movements, okay? Now, these three main movements, they, they said, you know, is the, ideally the perfect EMG study in terms of activation for the biceps bronchi. Number one being the bicep curl, which I've also, I've always thought was number one anyway. Number two is the Scott curl, just as I just described a few minutes ago. Number three is the dumbbell concentration curl. Also could be substituted for a hammer curl as well. Now they're saying they're the top three. Now I'm not saying, okay, hit, every single week you hit your biceps, come and do these three movements. No. In the study, Berins stated, for complete bicep activation, stimulation, whatever you want to call it, or development, hitting movements with very grip width angles, meaning hammer curl, you know, even pronated sometimes, even though it's going to have more bronchoradialis, which if you don't know, is this muscle here, which will involve a bit more of that instead of the biceps bronchi. But varying these movements will give you the more and most complete biceps bronchi than just doing ABC. Okay, now that's it guys for this week. Um, I hope that's interesting for you guys and I hope you've learned a few things. So have I, because especially the hammer curl, I was very surprised with that. But now you know, don't just say, oh, the hammer curl works this part of the bicep. No, 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 no. The hammer curl is, if not better, than any, any other bicep in terms of supination. Tell your friends that. Go to the gym, tell your friends that. Forget the bro science, people. Come to science for answers. This is what I'm here for. Giving you the scientific research. Very easy, within five minutes. Every week, every Tuesday. That's Tom's Technical Tuesdays, out.